What's going on everybody? This is Roger Dodger with Diecast Corner again. And guess what? It's that time of year again. As they would say in Game of Thrones, winter is coming. Yes, unfortunately, if you live in one of the northern states like I do in New York, it is winter for six months out of the year. So when you're shipping your Hot Wheels, I'm gonna tell you right now, if you leave the box outside, the blister will probably harden, and then when they grab the package and shake it around and stuff, especially more on the more heavy castings, most likely the car's gonna come through the blister. Okay, and it's no fault of yours. Uh, it's no fault of the shipping. It's no fault of the guy who shipped it. It's a fault of the weather, okay, <laughs> pretty much. Now everybody's saying, well, Mike, why don't you just get off your butt and actually just take it to the post office? Well, the reason being is because, first off, I'm lazy, okay, when I could just put it right on my front porch and the guy would come pick it up. Two, I do not know how long this thing is going to sit at the arrival destinations post office or outside on their front porch or something like that you know who knows so either it could happen here at my house or it could happen somewhere else if you live in florida california arizona new mexico southern states you most likely don't have this problem uh, but the new uh, new england states and stuff and probably you know uh, montana minnesota wisconsin and a bunch of other places uh, you have that problem so what you want to do pretty much is protect yourself. How can you protect yourself? It's real simple. There's a car, and the reason why I cho chose uh, an older blue card is because usually these are more fragile uh, and stuff like that, but can happen to a brand new one too. And I would say the same thing for a matchbox since they're both made by Mattel. Okay, some of the other ones, I think Auto World, M2s and all that, they come a little bit more sturdier, blisters I believe, you won't have that problem, but Hot Wheels if you have the problem. I know for a fact I had one happen to me last year, I had to give the, obviously reimburse the guy's money or at least half of it, let's just say that, and uh, you know, pretty much I didn't make any money on sale, okay, I lost money. And it was no fault of my own, but I made good on my deals and I don't ever try to rip anybody off, it's just the way it is. So the other item that we have here, we have our Hot Wheels car, we have our 3M, 3M painter's tape, okay? The reason why we choose painter's tape is because it comes off really easy. So this is the probably inch and a quarter thickness. So here's my, here's my thumb, you know, it's not that big at all, but this is what you want. You can use a thicker, you can probably use thinner and just rewrap it, but you're just gonna take it like that, take a piece of it, okay? Cool. Get your Hot Wheels and put it, wrap it around the blister. Okay. And you want it to go all the way around because what you're doing is you're trying to stop the car from puncturing through the plastic. Okay. And this is a good way that you'll see people ship some of their products during the winter or if they have blisters that are, that are weak. If you have any old Redline cars, you know for a fact that the blisters are extremely weak on those over the years, or what, 50, 60 years, or something like that, 50 years. And so that's a good way to do it. All my red, all my red lines that I've had, they all get shipped like that. And this is what you do, just something like that. You can cover the top, and most likely the car is not gonna pop forward. It's gonna pop out on the sides. Um, and the car that popped out of me was a Volkswagen Drag Bus. Uh, thank God it wasn't the most expensive one, but if anybody knows any drag buses is, is minimum ten dollars pretty much, you know uh, I think the pop culture ones might be eight bucks or whatever else, but pop culture ones are ugly, you know But there we go. I mean, that's it real simple and after you wrap it You can you can see here. I'll unwrap it too. You can see how easy this stuff comes off You don't want to rip it off. Okay? Just peel it like normal, and you won't have any problems, okay? It's not gonna leave any any residue. And there you go, there's your car. <laughs> Sorry guys, my, my neighbor's dog is going crazy. They, they have this, this, this dog, this lab, for some odd reason. Uh, it was nice when I moved in. 
and now it barks and screams and oh my gosh it's the loudest thing known to man and they don't do anything to make it be quiet so sorry uh for the dog barking during this video but here we go 3m tape on the blister wrap it up ship it obviously pack it really nice and you shouldn't have any problems uh, in the cold, leaving it outside or reaching its destination, wherever it's set to go. All right, guys, there we go. It's another episode of Roger Dodgers Diecast Corner. Thanks for watching. If you like, subscribe. If you like what you see here, give me a thumbs up. All right, until next time, guys. Thanks for watching.